I know that most of you have a lot of questions. Questions like, who is Rodrigo? What is Rodrigo doing? Why did Rodrigo open that YouTube channel? In this video, I'm gonna try to answer as many questions as I can. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about me, about who I am, where I'm from, what I'm doing, all these kind of questions. I'm gonna try to answer all of them in this video. Before to come to Bukete, I was living in David. David is kind of the main city of this province um, that is called Chiriqui, that belongs to Panama. And I was living like in a central place in David. I was living with a cousin. One day, I saw a kind of ad on internet, on WhatsApp. There was a guy who was looking for some help giving tours in a coffee farm. And I just texted to the guy, that guy was Arturo. We just uh, had a meeting in the cop farm. I came up to Boquete. I, I remember that day, I, I can't wait. No, I, remember. I saw the passion in his eyes. I saw the passion for what he was doing in that moment. That motivated me to want to do that kind of job. And he started training me, training me, teaching me all the things that he knew in that moment about the coffee. So I started learning, learning, learning. I made a couple of tours on the farm and a couple of weeks after that he asked me if I wanted to be part of one of his projects. He was thinking in open a coffee shop in the town, in Boquete town, and I just said yes, of course, I'm in. I think that was the best decision that I took in my whole life. I was really missing these days. Getting off of the work late. Just watching the sunset from here, from this park. These are the things that I was making seven months ago when the pandemic or nothing similar to this uh, was happening before. This was my routine. I just came here after the work, take a seat in one of the benches, and then just enjoy watching everything. I'm gonna roast some coffee. What's up? <laughs> Roasting coffee is not just taking the beans and putting it in the machine and let it do the rest. It is more complex than that. Coffee has to be with science, has to be with patience, and have to be with love. Something very important when we're roasting coffee is taking notes. We have this page here and every single thing that happens when we're roasting the coffee, we just write it down because we use all the notes as a reference for the next roast, for the next batch. And actually the coffee that I just roast, um, I think a couple of you are gonna drink that coffee so it's gonna be even more special. And now, it is time to cup the coffee.
something that a lot of people ask me for all the time is where is my family? Do I have a family? Do I have parents? Do I have brothers? The answer is yes, of course I do. I have my family back in the beach. I have my mother, I have two brothers, and I have my dad. I have around three more sisters. I have a big family back in the beach. But I decided to start um, paying everything by myself when I was 13 years old. I started working, washing cars, and I started paying all my things by myself. I paid, I paid most of my high school. I paid five years of six, all my scholar things, my notebooks, my uniforms, my shoes, like everything that I had to pay. I worked in the summer and then I paid. And then when I was in high school, I was working on the weekends. So I had money to pay my basic things, kind of my food in the, the high school. Um, the things that the teachers were asking for in the moments, like books, and notebooks, and all these kind of things. Um, I started doing that since I was 13, and my father asked to help me in when I was 17, and I agreed, so he paid one year of my high school. And in 2018, when it was my last year, I decided to start working again by myself because it was something that was that was missing and I worked to pay my last year of high school. Then I started working as a salesman. I was selling a lot of kind of things like makeup things, I was selling like perfumes, I was selling jewelry and all these kind of things. Uh, that was my first official job. And then I came to Boquete and started working as a barista, making coffee, learning about the thing, learning about real life, learning about the real things that happens in this world. Another question that the people ask me most of the time is that if my family knows that this guy is Kevin Jordan gave me this piece of land uh, to build my house and that I'm gonna build a house as soon as it's possible, well, they don't really know it. Just my father, I just I just told him because we are kind of closer. I tell I tell him like most of the things. Uh, my mom doesn't know. My brother, any other member of my family knows it. Just my father, and I told him, dude, keep the secret. I'm gonna tell them once everything is done. When everything is done, I'm gonna surprise them. My mom and my dad, they know that I'm doing things in the jungle, they think I'm just like exploring and doing these kind of things, but they don't really know that I'm making videos. I don't know, I, I'm sure that I'm gonna tell them that I'm making these videos, but I don't know when I'm gonna do it. I know that I'm gonna do it, but I don't know when, that's the thing.